Hi, my name is Tom Knotts, and I'm the Maryland State Geography Bee Champion. I'm going to show you a few things about myself, my hometown of Rockville, and my home state of Maryland. Hi, I'm here at the Antietam National Battlefield in Sharpsburg, Maryland, which is about an hour west of my hometown of Rockville. The reason I'm here is because history really triggered my interest in geography, and I'm especially interested in the Civil War. Antietam is one of the main battles in the Civil War, and it's also, also the bloodiest day in American history. I'm in the Maryland Monument at the Antietam National Battlefield. This monument honors the soldiers who fought for both the Confederacy and the Union who were natives of Maryland. People often ask me how I memorize all the geographical and historical facts. I say I love to learn about them so it's easy for me. People, I also say to people who ask me that question, it's not just about learning about cities, rivers, capitals, and countries. It's about connecting them to human events. I'm standing in the sunken road at Antietam National Battlefield. This lane is also known as the Bloody Lane. The battle event on, the, on September 17, 1862, the battle occurred and 23,000 Americans lost their lives over the course of the day. It is the bloodiest day in American history. To the north, this battle is known as the Battle of Antietam. To the south, this battle will be, uh, forever be known as the Battle of Sharpsburg. I'm in front of the old Montgomery County Courthouse in my hometown of Rockville, Maryland. Rockville is the county seat of Montgomery County. It is also the sister city of Pembroke, Germany, and this year it is celebrating its 150th birthday. I, live, I love to go to the, all the restaurants in Rockville, go to the local movie theater, and to a local ice cream shop called Giffords. In the neighboring town of Bethesda is where my school, which is called Norwood, is located. My school is the leading user of wind power in the entire state of Maryland. This makes me very proud of my school. Hi, I'm in Annapolis. Annapolis is the capital of Maryland, and the Maryland State Capitol building is behind me. Annapolis was the capital of the United States from 1783 to 1784. Congress ratified the Treaty of Paris, which ended the Revolutionary War, in that building up there. It is the Maryland State Capitol building is the oldest state capitol building, which is still in legislative use. All Marylanders love Annapolis and think it's a great city. I think I, can, I, think I have a fact that I can, I can stump National Geographic with. Here it is. What was the currency of the United States from the end of the revolution to the ratification of the Constitution. Do you know it? If you don't know it, here it is. There was none. Under the Articles of Confederation, all the states were printing different currencies. Hi, I'm in Annapolis again, and the Har Annapolis Harbor is behind me in the Chesapeake Bay is out there. Annapolis is also home to the U.S. Naval Academy, and it's also one of the most beautiful harbor towns in America. Thank you for watching my video on Maryland.